the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. Have you checked your fruits today? Come on now. Have you checked your fruits today? Here's a reminder. Now, some of you have probably seen this video for the first time. So what is he talking about? Well, let's go and see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and see what the scriptures are. It deals with checking your fruit. What are your fruits? What are you supposed to be targeting? It's saying Galatians 5, 22. But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which means patience, gentleness, goodness, Faith, which means faithfulness, meekness, temperance, which means self-control. Against such there is no law. Now, if you go into this, just remember, faith means faithfulness. And then what do you mean faithfulness? Let me tell you something. It kind of give you a good example. If you're going out on a date with a young lady for me, or if you're a young lady going to go on a date with a man, if y'all made a decision to be ready or to pick someone up at a certain time, be faithful in doing that. If where you work, meet the suspenses, be faithful. Meaning say, do what you say you're going to do. Let people understand that you're reliable. That's what being faithful means. Being faithful, being reliable, being where somebody can depend on you and recognize you do what you're supposed to do. That's what people are looking for. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to focus on being uh, faithful, consistent, faithful in the body of Christ, faithful in your family, faithful in your relationship, faithful in your job, being consistent. Don't sit there and let people down because you want to be selfish. No, you sit there and say, look, if I say it, I'm going to do it. If I fail, I'm going to say I'm sorry, but I guarantee you that if I say I'm going to do it, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on the things I need to do and make it right. That's, that's what God has asked us to do. So, have you checked your fruit today? What are people saying? You know, we've been talking about the, the, the fruits of the Spirit. And I've been sending this. And, and I, like I said, I think we should send these out daily. Uh, post them, keep reposting them. Uh, so that people can check your fruit. You're supposed to conform to the image of God, the image of His Son. What most people don't know what those images are because some people think it's based on this is the way we go to church, this is the way we go to church, but when I go home, I'm like, fool. No, you bear fruit. You start focus on bearing the fruits of the Spirit. Now, as far as faithfulness, let's look at some of the scripture about, you know, uh, being faithful, okay? It's not about, when you say faith, or faithfulness, we're not talking about a religion. No, we're not talking about your faith. We're not talking about whether you're uh, Baptist or Methodist. No, we're talking about your consistency of doing what you said you're going to do. So, like we already did in Galatians 5, 22 and 23 for this take, this video. So let's go to Hebrews uh, chapter 3, signed in verse 1. It says, Jesus greater than Moses. Verse 1, Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession. That's what a Christian profession is. Christ Jesus. Who was faithful to him that appointed him, God, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. For well, this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses. In as, in as much as he who had built the house has more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. And Moses barely was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Christ, as a son, over his own house, whose house we are, check it out now, Christians, 
every hold fast in confidence and rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Faithful is staying consistent. Faithful is being and doing what you say you want to do. And, and look, as I've been going through these characters and reminding you daily, is the fact is that all of us really do like to be around people that's reliable. Being faithful. You say you're going to do it, you're going to do it. Young lady get going on a date. Where's that man? He said, going to pick up his son. I don't see him. God, hey, I'm ready to go. She's not even ready. Wow. How about going to the job? Hey, you told me you got to be between nine or something or six or something. You ain't there. And look, I'm not sitting there saying that nobody has arrived. I'm saying these are things you need to cultivate. Because when you sometimes be late for work, probably so. If you didn't make uh, exceptions to traffic, car breaking down or whatever. But the point is your, 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 your intent in life is to be and do what you say you're going to do. You get a job, you're going to do a job. You're going to have a family, you're going to raise and be faithful in that family. If you're going, to, you're going to have a child, you want to be able to provide for that child. If you make a commitment in marriage, then you want to be consistent. What I'm saying is these characteristics is not something that's bad at all. And like I said, you don't have to. I'm not saying being a Christian is not based on working work around the Bible, quoting all these scriptures. It's not that. Those are things that you want to do for yourself, but not for man, not to be recognized by people. What people need to recognize, are you bearing your fruit? Have you checked your fruit today? Are you showing and demonstrating that you are somebody not perfect? See, it's not about being perfect. I don't know about perfect. I do know about the fact that the people that you can't pick the love from you. If you got love in your heart, people can speak the fact that you have peace or joy. People can see if you're faithful and they know they're consistent. They know that you, you're going to do the best you can. The best you can is sometimes good enough for most people. But they want to see that consistency. So I'm saying that have you checked your fruits today? You know, we've been going through these characteristics. And I like to say these should be posted daily. One of them, what are the characteristics daily? So that you can identify what you need to work on. Or be just a reminder. Are you faithful? Are you doing what you say you're going to do? Have you checked your fruit today? Are you faithful? I guarantee you, it goes a long ways with people. If you do bear these characteristics of the fruits of the Spirit, have you checked your fruits today? I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it makes sense. Try to keep something uh, quick, but I just want to make sure. Maybe we should remind ourselves daily. Checking out the fruits. All right. Today, faithfulness. All remember, have you checked your fruits today? That's something that you're just trying to keep putting into your thoughts. My fruit. And my bad fruit. And if you miss it, clean it up. Working on it again. That's what it's all about. Amen. And remember, it's the Holy Spirit that's going to help you. Feel that. All right, I'll catch you later.